As students return to school all over District 279 this year, many will find their schools look very different. The reason for the difference is major construction that took place during the summer has made significant improvements in many of our aging buildings and has added more classroom space to many of our existing buildings. From new school entrances, additional classrooms, new kitchens, cafeterias, and gymnasiums, to window replacement, remodeled spaces, new lighting, sidewalks, and parking lots, students returned to school this year with better space to learn in. This summer was the third year of the district's five-year construction plan and the busiest construction year so far. Construction activity was underway at 17 different sites across the district, keeping contractors busy right up to the start of school. Hello and welcome to District 279 News Brief. I'm Lisa Hunter and today we're here at Park Center Senior High, the site of much of that construction over the summer. And we have Dave Suman, who is the coordinator for construction across the district, to tell us what happened at Park Center over the summer and across the district. Dave, thanks for being with us. Welcome, Lisa. Now, there was a lot of construction that took place over the sum summer, 17 different projects. We're here at Park Center, and I'd like for you to tell us a little bit about what happened here. But first, overall, there are some major things that are different now for students um, as a result of the construction over the summer. Can you tell us a little bit about that? I sure can. Uh, the things that uh, students will be experiencing, one of the obvious ones when they walk into classrooms is they're going to be lighter and brighter. Uh, on many of our projects, we've replaced windows, put in more energy efficient windows, which allowed us to have more window, but yet still be energy efficient. And so it makes the classrooms much brighter. Uh, as well as uh, a lot of the rooms, we have done additional lighting or new lighting. So that's one of the things that they'll notice right away. Well, that makes a difference in the way the building feels to everyone. Yes, absolutely. Uh, another thing that they'll notice is that we have uh, more appropriate and spaces for some of the classrooms. Um, before, because of enrollment and uh, the spaces we had to work with, we had some classes meeting in like storage areas and that sort of thing. Uh, and now we have appropriate classrooms for those classes. So we've added more space. Right. And uh, also we've added to areas that, uh, you know, were not adequate uh, in terms of facilities like uh, PE stations and uh, uh, cafeterias, uh, places like that where students will spend a portion of their day and they'll notice a, a, a much more adequate and uh, brighter, lighter uh, uh, space, much more pleasant. Um, another thing, uh, we still have construction going on on several sites and next summer we'll be doing more of this, but we've done a lot of site work where we have modified uh, bus drop-off and pickup areas, uh, separating uh, car traffic from bus traffic so it makes it safer for students uh, and parents picking up their students, uh, as well as a bit more convenient. Right now, I'm sure at some of the sites, there'll be a little bit of inconvenience uh, at the drop-off and pick-up area, but that will soon go away and uh, will be much better and safer uh, for it. Now, you mentioned additions uh, across the district, so we have more space. There were some additions here at Park Center, too, um, sure. some, some classroom space. Can you tell us how many classrooms we got here, additionally, here at Park Center, and where are they situated? Well, we're standing in front of one of the big areas uh, as you remember, Park Center had that uh, recessed entrance yes. and we basically have filled that in and that has become an addition to the cafeteria. It has uh, been uh, the site of uh, the new administrative offices so that we can convert the old administrative offices into uh, uh, guidance and some of the other uh, functions that are more common to all of the students. Uh, right next to this entrance, uh, we have a classroom wing that we added on, and uh, as I recall, it's about six classrooms uh, that we added on on the front here. On the other end of the building, on the north side, where students park, and mainly is where the students enter uh, with bus drop-off as well, is uh, another entrance, a main entrance, and uh, then on the west side of the building, we have a new PE station that we've added. And like I mentioned, because of this filling in the recess, uh, the cafeteria area is uh, larger and brighter 
Um, so we've done some major things to Park Center and uh, it's really nice. It, it ties the building together well and uh, I think students and staff both uh, will feel uh, good about a lot of the additions that they have to work with now. Well, Dave, I understand that, you know, that there's still some construction going on throughout the district, even though kids are back in classrooms. The weather's really good. Tell me about that. How come that's still going on? Well, typically the additions, Lisa, are outside of the building, um, and that construction can continue. And we have several projects where we are doing additions, uh, clearly here. Right here at Park Center. Uh, and uh, at Brooklyn Junior, uh, at Osseo Junior, uh, Park Brook. Garden, or Garden City, um, uh, Fair Oaks, Birch Grove, uh, Maple Grove Senior. So we have several where we are putting an addition on and since that's exterior to the building, we can build that up as long as the weather holds and then at the very end, and we can do this after hours or when students aren't around, uh, punch through to the existing building when we're ready to do that. Well, so we need to get them buttoned up uh, to weather before the weather changes, but that can continue on throughout the, the whole winter, actually. Oh, that's neat. So Dave, tell us about some of the other things that students will experience across the different district as they come back to school. Well, one of the big things that I haven't mentioned yet is the ventilation. Uh, as we uh, mentioned at the outset that we were going to add air conditioning to all of our buildings, but uh, a bigger issue is that we're going to upgrade the ventilation systems so that we meet the current standards for indoor air quality, and that basically means bringing in a lot more outside fresh air into the rooms, and uh, to do that and still be energy efficient, we've added energy recovery uh, to our systems so that uh, if it's heated uh, air and we don't want to lose that heat, we can exchange that and still bring in outside air. So uh, that's one of the things that will definitely be felt uh, for many years in, in all of our buildings. Well, this is a long project. We're in year Three. three. Okay. We just completed the third year. Just completed year three. The construction that's going on during this fall, is that part of three or is that part of four? That's part of three. Okay. Uh, we will start the planning for phase four this fall and have the uh, planning complete by the first of the year and go out for bids in February and March uh, for next summer phase four projects. But we'll have several carryover projects from phase three uh, as well. Okay, phase three was just a huge project, huge. 17, 17, as we've projects. talked about, very, very aggressive. Right. Will phase four be as aggressive as phase three? Uh, no, we okay. should have fewer projects. Uh, coming into the home stretch. Yes, that's exactly <laughs> right. And uh, uh, we did take an aggressive schedule and it served the district well because we were able to avoid some inflationary roll-up costs you know over the five-year period that we had expected to uh, take in order to complete them all and uh, so I think uh, economically it has uh, been a good thing for us. Well Dave thanks for all of your good work and thanks for being here at District 279 News Brief. If you tune in regularly to school board meetings to keep up with district news, you'll notice three new faces on the board beginning this January 2004. The terms of three current school board members, Russ Funk, Nancy Miller, and Lana Ensrud, are set to expire in January 2004. They will be replaced with the winners of the November election. School board elections will be held on Tuesday, November the 4th. Voters have an opportunity to select three persons to serve on the board from among 15 school board candidates. The top three vote getters will help govern the school district each for four year terms beginning January 2004. The school board is the governing body of the district and is responsible for providing leadership, policy development, budget adoption, long-range planning, and many other duties. For information about when, where, and how to vote in this election, or to learn how to register, check out the fall issue of Education 2003 or the district website at www.osseo.k12.mn.us and click on Voter Information. Well, that's it for this edition of District 279 News Brief. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.